chapter 1G. was who are the three stooges of Bardo? <laughs> <laughs> so you all know who they are, right? <laughs> who was Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis of Bardo? So you all come up with that. I have my own answers. <laughs> <laughs> How many forms are there in Bando? I taught you all 33 forms. We have the anti-hemp, animal anti-hemp forms, 
star forms and soul forms. And uh, another question, who is the best fighter in Bando? Early part of it, I will tell you, Bob Maxwell was a fantastic fighter. And he competed in, he competed in many, many tournaments, Ishinu tournaments, uh, Taekwondo tournaments, Goku tournaments. And uh, I think I saw you fight against Chuck Norris. Did you ever fight Chuck Norris? In Maryland? At at uh, what's who run it? Kiwan Kim. Kiwan Kim. In my opinion, you won that fight against Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> you, all, you all heard about Chuck Norris, famous, famous uh, action movie star. Maxwell fought against him, and uh, I thought. He won that fight. So he won him jewelry and a uh, few other people. I, I, I argued for you, but they said that's a Korean rule. So keep this in mind. The guy that beat Chuck Norris was Bob Maxwell, our one and only. Okay, give him a hand. Yeah. No Bob. And uh, the next question I asked was, who is the best fighter in the United States of the whole country? So that's a difficult question. There are different fighters for different type of techniques. You have Taekwondo people, you have kickboxers, and uh, in my opinion, Joe Lewis and Bill Wallace were the great, greatest fighters I had the privilege to see. Bill Wallace and Bruce and Joe Lewis. Let me tell you, several years ago, my daughter took me to a movie, Avatar. At the movie, something triggered, and I suddenly lost it. <coughs> I, I suffer from stroke. My daughter gave me a bag of pep popcorns. I could not even pick up a popcorn. It was so heavy. The popcorn was so heavy. I couldn't pick it up. And I, I became paralyzed. I couldn't hear, I couldn't see, I couldn't walk. At present time, I'm slowly recovering. I am recovering. My left foot is paralyzed. And uh, so please forgive me if I, I don't know why, how, why I got the stroke. And uh, I was very active. I've been active in martial art for 90 years. And, uh, and something tr triggered in my head that, that caused me to have a stroke. I could not remember names. After my stroke, the therapist brought a mirror, showed me in front of me. 
I looked at myself, I could not recognize myself. That was terrible. You, you are sitting down looking at yourself and you look at it for 10, 15 minutes. You don't, you don't know who the guy is in the mirror. And that was a very sad part of my life when you can't remember, recognize yourself. And uh, someday I'm sure you all remember yourself. There are great people in this country that I had a chance to meet. The great uh, Robert Trias, president of the American Karate Association. Great master Joe Ree. Great grandmaster Peter Urban of Gojuru. Don Nagel of Ishinru, George Arbor of Ishinru, Ed Parker of Kempo, and they all passed away, and I'm, I am their friend, and if my turn will come, I hope you will come to my funeral. Sorry, my hands, I have a difficult time holding my hands. I can't, so I'll, I'm going to lose my balance. just crippled and blind, crippled and deaf. And sorry. We love you as you are, sir. Thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you. Getting old is not for us, for sissies. <laughs> things I can't remember. One of them is I can't remember myself in the mirror. I lost a lot of people. I know one of the most important events that happened in my life in Ohio was was that I was at Ohio University for 10 years, 30 years, sorry, 30 years. <coughs> and uh, I live out in a farm. From the main street, my farm was about two miles away. In the boondocks. And the day came, there was a snowstorm. The snow was hip high. And we were, I couldn't 
I couldn't get back to you work. I couldn't get out. I was my pet and I were tied up, were locked up in the in the house. And uh, and lo and behold, who do I see? Here was a grandmaster, Steve Denty, walk two miles in the snow to come and check me out. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. when you can remember when your life is in danger, somebody is looking out for us, for me. And it was Steve, Steve Dante that looked out for me. And he, and, uh, and another event was, we had a national, where's my book? Let me put it up there. I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> we had a we had a national we had a national uh, demonstration in Wash in uh, in Virginia and. Uh, And the ambassador from Burma came, and the uh, ambassador to the United Nations was there, and we had a, a wonderful presentation. Magical. It was really magical. And uh, one of the event that the ambassador after the event after the event, the ambassador called me and says, Dr. G, who was the three people that performed the, uh, the staff form? And it was Chuck Buffington and Sons. Thank you. And Chuck Buffington and Sons. <laughs> and what they performed was, uh, four wind, four corners. Sit down, it's okay, thank you. <laughs> and uh, the ambassador said, it is a true story, he told me. The ambassador said that in the 1200, Mongol, Mongol warriors would attack our country. They conquered China, they conquered Russia, and they came to our country. And first of all, the Mongol horsemen will, will destroy all the smaller villages around and then attack the big city. And in a small village, father and three sons decided to meet the Mongol horsemen. They go up there. They were able to perform a four wind, four corner form form in Bangor right now. And uh, Chuck, Chuck Buffington and his son performed brilliantly. You could see they were taking down Mongol horses. And it was such a brilliant performance. And I want to thank you, Chet, and your son performing. I hope you could perform for us here, but we can't do it now. <laughs> These were the magical days in my life. Another magical day was is Lloyd Davis here? Yes. Okay. He used to in he used to compete in all the tournaments in the seventies. He 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 fought in Korean tournament, Ishinu tournament, Kung Fu tournament, Japanese tournament. And uh, he went to 
New York to fight at the World Taekwondo Tournament. And, and that man became the World Taekwondo Champion. Can you imagine that? very humble, but he fought the, the world champion, Skipper Marlins. Skipper Marlins was uh, Alan Steen and Skipper Marlins. They were champions, and, uh, and he defeated them and became the first Bando world title champion. <laughs> Bando, we have superwoman. A superwoman, a superwoman that can fight and also lead and perform and teach. And this superwoman that inspired me was Siamaji Leslie Dahl. Have you heard of him? And you have Debbie Cookman, you see here? And Mary Master. She's here? She's, she's coming, Dr. Huh? She's, she's, she's on her way. way. She's on her way. She's on her way. And Dawn Keeney, Heather Hogan, Mimi Quinn, Sharon Mazzarella, Freddie Prevost. All these things are the the ladies of Bando, <coughs> and I honor them. <laughs> and they are Rhea from Connecticut. And uh, I remember Mas Oyama asked me a question. What is the goal of Bando? Many of you have not read the book on the Bando philosophy and principle. The goal of Bando is self-discovery, self-cultivation, self-development, and self-realization. Okay, let me repeat. I want you to repeat after me. <laughs> Not the first sentence. The goal of Bando is self-discovery, self-discovery, self-cultivation, self-cultivation, self-development, self-development, and self-realization. Self-realization. And you will see that the symbol of Bando is a spiritual aspect of Bando. Every martial arts system has a spiritual aspect of Bando. Spiritual is not religion or is not or the doctrine or theology. Spiritual is the inner experience. In your inner experience, that spiritual aspect. You will see, hold on a minute. You will see the Bando symbol have three circles one large, second one, and smaller one. It says the world of self and the world of human association and the world of the spirit and be in harmony. So harmony is the spiritual goal of Bando, inner harmony. The world of self, the world of human association, and the world of the spirit. 
and three circles are in well balanced. So that is the spiritual goal of Bado. Bado is not kickboxing. Kickboxing is a, a very small part of it. Let's repeat again. The goal of Bando is self-discovery, self-cultivation, self-development, and self-realization. Self-realization is coming to develop a harmony within oneself, peace with, peace with yourself. I hope all of you will find peace. I hope I find peace when I pass on. One of the questions that asked me is, was, is there tension form and bundle? So if you see in, in Okinawan Karate and Japanese Goju, you have a Sanchen form. The Sanchen forms are very powerful. And uh, so we have a, in Bando we have a similar type of Sanchen form. But I fail to teach it because I fail myself many times, and so I have, I'm going to teach myself, and I'm going to walk next year, and I will teach you, okay? <laughs> I will overcome my, my sickness and my weakness. I, I will realize my wife. <laughs> my granddaughter. Are they beautiful people? <laughs> okay, let me talk about this last question, last statement is that I would like to see all of you here take my, my seminar next year. Next year seminar will be organized by Dr. Winborn. And the seminar will deal with this uh, sun bundle tension form. Bundle tension form deals with three elements. as a physical development, psychological development, and spiritual development. Okay, sunshine do not deal with all three of them. Sunshine, Okinawa okay, system deal with physical and psychological. And uh, the body, I will try to heal. Sanchi is supposed to heal. Heal yourself. And the system that I share with you is called, there are many, many uh, forms that are names that are Tai Chi is a shortened form of a larger sentence. Qigong 
okay? Qigong, Tai Chi, San Chen, they are shortened as a larger, larger sentence phrase and the, the truncation of it. So this, the system I share with you will be we call Malan. It is a Shan system and uh, it deals with self-healing. See, when I had a, a stroke, I could not speak. My jaws were locked. I could not lift, I could not pick up a, a popcorn. I could not remember the face of my wife. I married for 60 years. I couldn't recognize her. I could not recognize my, recognize my daughter, my granddaughter. The mind just broke, broke down. My left parietal lobe seemed to lose the control. I lost my left leg, lost my left hand, but now I can still do the walk. I'm working. It took a little time for me to get my mind together. I'm going to, because you honor me today, and I'll have to honor myself to take care of me. Because this sickness makes me a, a pauper. It cost me $5,000 a day in a hospital. That's a lot of money. And one thing I would like to ask you to help me is that I can't hear too well. I've been asking for a hearing aid for the last three years. Since, if you have a nice hearing aid, share with me <laughs> so that I can hear you. <laughs> okay. That means that she wants me to stop my crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you for giving me a chance to talk. Because they are wonderful kids, uh, wonderful people are going to be speaking, and I can't take your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.